7 Commanders, I'm Tyron, and in this video, we'll be going over e-breaches and what the Alpha has told us about them thus far. We'll be going over what they are, where you can find them, and how they can be equipped and their various applications. First and foremost, what are e-breaches? Simply put, e-breaches are a consumable item that allows commanders the ability to hack into secured technological devices. Commanders can purchase e-breaches from communist systems within their Coriolis starport at the Frontier Supply for 25,000 credits each. An example can be seen on screen now. Before I show you their application, remember that e-breaches are a prohibited item and they must be intentionally put in your inventory. This can be done within your ship. Just go to Storage, Transfer, and to the Consumables tab and then add e-breaches to your suit's pack. Within the Alpha, e-breaches can be used with your secondary interact button and are applied to terminals, door authorization scans, containers or lockers, as well as settlement facility controls such as alarms, door authorizations, anti-personnel weapons, anti-ship weapons, point defense, system atmospheric panels, and power plant control panels. Starting off with arguably the most useful application, e-breaches can be applied to terminals to access in-depth information about the settlement. You see, upon initial use, a commander with no authorization for that settlement will find the terminal limiting. As we can see, we can't see into certain buildings nor containers or lockers with access codes with this limited access. After applying the e-breach, the terminal screen will become covered with smaller, shimmering, purple squares indicating the e-breach is working. At this point, accessing the terminal shows a purple, unlocked icon at the top of the screen. This indicates that this terminal no longer cares about authorization and will reveal full settlement information. Here's where we can see the information about individual buildings and lockers that has been revealed. As you navigate the settlement with minor to no authorization, you will inevitably run into the problem of a locked door. E-breaches offer one avenue among many to deal with this problem. Simply walk up to the door's authorization scan panel, ensure there is no one around to see you, and apply an e-breach. Instantly, after application, the panel will turn purple, and a progress bar will appear. Depending on the door's level, the progress bar will take a few seconds to open. Once this is done, the door will recognize you and your teammates and grant you access to what it guards. Lockers and containers are dotted around a settlement 
and some of these are secured with a lock. These locks are digital in nature and can be opened with an e-breach. Just walk up to a lock, apply the e-breach, and this will instantly open it. It is advised that you do not apply e-breaches to lockers as you can simply cut them open. Pro tip, if a terminal grants you information towards a container and its access code, you can select it as a target and be led straight to it. Further, when you reach the selected lock, you will see its access code highlighted for you to be entered without the need for cutting or an e-breach. Pending Phase 4, e-breaches could be applied to all settlement facility controls bypassing their authorization requirements allowing a commander to use them at free will. As seen here, a commander just needs to walk up to a control panel, ensure no one is watching them, and apply an e-breach. As with all other devices, it will turn purple, and the commander can now use it. This process is the same for all panels. Alarms, door authorization scans, anti-personnel, point defense, atmospheric controls, and power plant regulator controls. We now know what e-breaches are, where to find them, and their general operation and application. Additionally, it should be noted that once e-breaches are applied to hacked devices, they do not draw ire from NPCs that see them, but e-breach application that is noticed by NPCs will draw aggro and offense. With that said, commanders, that's it for me. Have fun hacking, and I'll see you in the black.